Habargani, y'all. It is always fitting to be on this stage together with the family, because we are one family. To Reverend Wanda, to the Freedom Fighters, I am Lynette Gibson McElhaney. I have the privilege of serving our city as the representative of West Oakland, District 3. And I come here to express my love and my gratitude for the liberators, the freedom fighters, the poets, the preachers, the ministers, the mamas, the papas, the babies, because we're here. I was reflecting on the fact that when we come together and we gather here to celebrate Oscar's life, we always come together on the seventh day of Kwanzaa. It's on this day that we say that the principle is, Iman, is Imani. Kwanzaa starts with Umoja, it starts with unity, as Minister Keith was talking about, and it ends on the seventh principle, which is faith. And it's gonna take faith, y'all, to continue in this freedom struggle. I'm reflecting right now because some of us had a wake-up call in November. We woke up and said, America is not the America I thought it was. Some of us woke up and had an, a WTF moment and said, how could this be? But I want to remind you all that this is not as it appears. We have heard from the poets and we have heard from our singers and we have heard the word that we are not the minority. We are the majority. You have to know this in your soul. When we come together, every time we come together and we see one another, we have to know that we are the majority. And even if we were not the majority, we stand on the principles of righteousness. So even if you are alone, my pastor would say, me and God make a majority all day, every day. When I look at the election results, I'm like, half the people didn't bother to show up. They didn't bother to show up because they lacked the faith to believe that their voice mattered. Today is the day that we celebrate what? Faith. And we have to remind ourselves in dark times, when our babies are ripped away from us by injustice, we have to say that this blood will not be shed in vain. That I will use the strength of this moment, the power of this moment, to fight for my freedom and for the freedom of all of us around. Now there are limitations. I'm limited by myself. I'm elected to the office, I'm one of eight votes. I'm one of nine elected to do legislation when you count the mayor. We push and we push and we push. And, 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 and what I want to remind you all is we don't get mad when we push and we get an inch when we wanted a foot. You know what we do? We rest for just a moment, we get back up, we get some more folks to come with us and we push and we push and we push. We're standing here today on freedoms that we did not buy. Somebody else pushed for the freedom for me to be on this microphone. They were able to push for this day when they couldn't see it. When their babies were being lynched, they pushed because they imagined by faith that there would be a day when a black woman could be elected to the city council and could become president of that council in the eighth largest city in the state of California. I didn't pay for that, but I'm paying it forward. I may be the first black woman to be the president of the council, but with your faith, I won't be the last. Think about it. So today, as we honor Oscar, honor him today, y'all. Do this for, for me, for yourself, for our communities, for the babies yet unborn, for those of us who live under the tyranny of injustice. Do this for us today. When you are feeling like you can't go on, Remember Ida Wells Barnett, who led a campaign to end lynching in this country and made what was legal a crime. Say, by faith. By faith. That's right. When you feel like, oh my God, these people have lost their mind, and you feel like you have nowhere to go, you got to remember, by faith. Harvey Milk gave his life by faith. Say it, by faith. Today, y'all, when I think about our babies, when I think about my grandson whose blood was spilled in West Oakland, I don't get depressed about it. 
because I anchor to something greater than myself. And I say by faith, when Antique said no more names, we are on the quest for no more names. I will say this as I close. 240 years ago, there was a declaration of independence. There were a group of white men who got moved by the vision of freedom, of liberty, who lived under the tyranny of a king, who lived under injustice, who said, you know what? We do not have to live as slaves to a despot. These white men came together. They had a divine vision that human beings created by God are endowed with some rights that cannot be violated by any government or any law. And they said, among these things that seem self-evident to me is that you should have life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. It was a powerful vision. It was so powerful, they said, we will fight for our freedom. It was so powerful that they put down in documents that allowed us, this nation, to start talking about self-government and unleashed revolutions all around the world. Y'all say it with me, by faith. The revolution is not complete. It didn't stop in 1776. It didn't stop in 1968 when I finally got the right to join those white men in voting for my freedom. The revolution is still an ongoing work. Are you going to be a revolutionary? Are you going to hold on to that vision no matter the opposition that comes? So don't get depressed when there's a defeat. Remember that a setback is a setup for a comeback. So today, by faith, we pay it forward and we say to Oscar, to Corin, to Sandra, that we will not allow their lives to have been taken from us in vain. We who believe in freedom will not rest until it comes. God bless you. Thank you, Wanda. Thank you all for allowing me to be here today. God bless. JT.